1983, pretty much all fuel components in modern automobiles are alcohol tolerant because that's when they started making um, gasohol, in other words, 10% alcohol with gasoline, um, available all over the United States. So they required all the rubber parts. There were certain rubbers prior to 83 that would, uh, that would um, soften under alcohol. And there were certain um, platings in gas tanks that had a lot of zinc and lead, and those would dissolve um, in, you know, and especially in the case of methanol, which is a much more corrosive alcohol made from natural gas. But in the case of ethanol, some of that turn plate would come off and plug your fuel filter, so they've gotten rid of that. Um, but once it all came off, then you were fine. You know, so what the, the realistic protocol was, you'd go through two or three fuel filters in the first thousand miles, and then you'd be okay. Um, but pretty much all modern cars uh, are alcohol tolerant at this point, and have been since 83. So the stories about how it'll wreck your car are pretty much unfounded. Now, if you make your own alcohol, you can have a high amount of acetic acid in it if you don't neutralize it with lime first before you distill. Acetic acid will eat aluminum and will uh, eat zinc and a few other metals. So you want to make sure your pH or your acidity um, is neutral when you go to distill. And that's, you know, that, that's all in the book. It's all you know, straightforward stuff if you're making your own fuel.